This is our little guide dog. <laughs> she met us literally outside the door of our Airbnb. They can be apparently pretty vicious if you get in their territory or walk in their space. Oh my god. I think this might be it. Oh, how we've fallen a long way from the top. <laughs> We're Nicole Amigo. In 2021, we decided to take the leap and try our nine to five jobs in order to travel full time. We believe travel is one of the best ways to build understanding between people. So we've hit the road on a journey to learn more about new cultures, unique places, and different foods. We'd love for you to join us. And if you're interested in coming along, you'll find new videos here twice a week. saw you we have made our way more east in Armenia to a small town called Dilijan. We are exploring the Caucasus mountain region and we're on a small hike today. It's 14 kilometers. We're gonna take this trail, uh, a section of the Trans-Caucasian Trail and head towards Pars Lake. Which is our final destination for the day. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. There should be some rain later this afternoon. But so far, it's uh, pretty sunny skies. Which way? Which way do we go? Okay, I follow you. This way, this way. Oh, stretch! <laughs> you are so cute, honey. This is our little guide dog. <laughs> she met us literally outside the door of our Airbnb. And she's leading us to the right way. Cause... Yeah, I wonder if we'll have her all day. I don't know. Oh my gosh. There are snakes here. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I just walked right past that, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, good morning. We have lost our trail mate, our little guide dog. She got kicked off the route <laughs> by um, a couple of other dogs we passed who is a house here, they've got some cattle and they obviously kind of guard the livestock. So they would not let our little guide dog pass, which is maybe for the better because this is a point to point hike. So we're not doing a loop or anything and we don't really feel like having her come 14 kilometers with us and then we're not sure she'd be able to get her way back. It seems awfully far for her to find her way home. So maybe it's for the better, but she was so sweet and adorable and playful. <laughs> We're gonna miss her. Time to put the hair up. It's getting hot. How are you feeling? Tired already. <laughs> I think we're really out of shape. <laughs> we're out of practice. We haven't hiked in ages. Last time we hiked was in the Himalayas. <laughs> oh, how we've fallen a long way from the top. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're about 5K in. We just saw a sign that actually says eight kilometers left. We started with 14, so I don't know, maybe we're six in. Doesn't feel like we've gone quite that far, <laughs> but we hope so. <laughs> so far, the views are beautiful. Fall is definitely here. There's a bunch of cats coming. Is that okay? 
Hello, Aww. sir. You have a good sniff. You see, I'm safe. <laughs> How do I smell? Do I smell like the other doggy that we lost? Hello, sir. Oh, oh, I'll just sit here. That's approval. We may pass. Okay. <laughs> good boy. Thank you. So because this trail passes through a lot of farmers' fields and ranch lands, uh, they say you have to be very careful of the uh, dogs that are protecting the cows and the cattle and whatnot. They can be apparently pretty vicious if you get in their territory. So we passed one and that uh, seemed to have given us the tail wag of approval. Is right behind you still? Can you see him in your still... camera? Oh, he's still behind <laughs> He's like, you guys, scurry along. <laughs> Man, I cannot believe this is here every day. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. of you who, like us, up until a couple of weeks ago, haven't heard about the Trans-Caucasian Trail. It's actually really neat. It borders Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, uh, and it runs through the Caucasus mountain range. So it actually touches three countries, the trail does. Uh, it runs through Georgia, Azerbaijan, and of course Armenia, and it's not finished yet. Once it's completed, it will be a 3,000 kilometer trail. So lots of opportunity for people to come and explore this beautiful part of the world. We don't have the right shoes for this. We ditched our hiking boots a little while ago. And uh, part of me thinks it might've been a little bit too early. But when you have a small bag, you really can't take much beyond just sneakers and some sandals. So we do a lot of hiking back home as we live next to a beautiful mountain range. And we always, when we hike, just take some time to like reflect and think because what else is there to do when you have no reception and you're wandering through the trees? So Han, question for you. I think now that we've been on the road for quite a few months, favorite and least favorite things about traveling long term? I think maybe least favorite is finding new accommodation all the time. <laughs> okay. Like we're only yeah. ever in a place for like two or three nights or a week and 10 days, something like that. Mm -hmm. and you gotta plan out the next part of the trip and yeah. find your next accommodation. And look at reviews. And... <laughs> All right, you don't love it. No. No. That's fair. I don't love that either. Gets tiring. Okay. Favorite thing. Favorite thing is probably finding new places. <laughs> <laughs> I just got almost the opposite. Well, it makes it means we move, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've always being somewhere new and always having something to do and and uh, and explore. Ooh. Branch. <laughs> okay. How about you? Least favorite thing about traveling long term is missing people and our dog. That sucks. That's true. Yeah, missing like milestone birthdays or like babies being born. That is definitely the worst. That's a bummer. Favorite, I think has to be, oh, spider whip, has to be the freedom. To just like do what we want when we want. If we really like a place, stay longer. 
very different from the traveling I think that we've done previously, which was usually quite fast paced and often very planned. <laughs> and this is just like, if we know where we're sleeping in two nights, that's like a big win. I like the freedom to just do what we want when we want and stay somewhere if we love it. Good answers. <laughs> you too. I do hate finding accommodation, so <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> yeah, we may change our answers. We reserve the right mm. to change our answers in about <laughs> six months' time. Yeah, check in in six months. Oh my god. I think this might be it. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> This beautiful field, holy smokes. Holy smokes. I think we've made it to the top. Wow. Now that's a clearing. It's one o'clock. It's right where the weather app said it would rain. Oh boy. Maybe we have to run to that lake now. Yeah, rain jacket time maybe too. Time for rain jackets. Oh my god. It's coming now. At the bottom. <laughs> oh, stuff is exploding out of here. All waterproofed up. Ready for the rain. I think we're getting really close. The rain has stopped. It's starting to get a little bit brighter. And the wind has died down. Hopefully we'll be at the lake pretty soon. I could already hear a couple dogs barking, which means we're probably closer to some people. And I know there's some shops and things like that around the lake. So I think we're getting fairly close. We're both very tired. Our feet are covered in mud and we're ready for something to eat. I hear a dog panting behind us. Oh, he's injured, this dog. Oh, hurt his leg. Yeah, he's not very mean at all. Would you like some crackers? You seem like maybe you're hungry out here, hey, buddy? Okay, yeah, we got crackers. You can have them. Can you get us a cracker slow? Yeah. 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 The, the owner is nearby. Do you have an owner? Yeah. I don't know. He seems like he might be wild to me. Oh, he really wants those crackers. Yeah, he's very hungry. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. I think he's saying... Mm -hmm. Uh, no, that was far. The cows yeah. are very far. Yeah, far. far. Yeah. Cows. Way. <laughs> many, like. Mm -hmm. Far. Yeah, many. Far. <laughs> he might be, um, he's probably trying to round up his cows. Yeah, maybe. You finished all your crackers. Are they good? Are they delicious? Oh, well, you're going to make us have to wash our hands so badly. The good thing we're going to a lake. How about some nuts? Yeah? You like nuts? <laughs> Not really. That's all of them, buddy. No, those are good. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna eat them. That's all it's there, dude. Oh man, are you gonna waste my expensive nuts? I think you are, aren't you? Jokes on us. <laughs> the cows will eat them. Probably will. Cows eat everything. Wash my hands pretty good. I gave you maximum. Next, Gretchen. 
Let's go. Let's go. To Powers Lake. One kilometer left. Yes. <laughs> Finally. It has felt strangely long, this hike. I don't know why, it's not like it's hard or anything. It's been a really like good hike. We are ready for lunch. Now we're completely out of food because we gave it to the dogs, so. <laughs> we're really hungry. <laughs> I, think they, I think you need it more than we do. Though. Yeah, I think so too. So, okay, the last little bit. All right, so we're here at Pars Lake. <laughs> Very commercialized, although that's what we heard. But uh, it was uh, really nice to take the hike here instead of drive, because I think we got a better view of the Dilja National Park in the area. I think we gotta get some lunch now. I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just chilling. All right, well, I think that's the end of our hike. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us. I think uh, we're just gonna now enjoy Pars Lake and more importantly, grab a bite to eat. Get some food. <laughs> yeah, we're starving. But if you're ever in the area, check out some of the Transcaucasian Trail. The little bit we did is just such a small little piece of it. Um, there's lots to explore. So, check it right. out. And we'll see you in our next country. East a couple of hours to a small town in Romania called Dilijan. Except we're not in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> so out of shape. So out of shape. And actually runs through three different, four different countries. Branch. So for anyone, <clears throat> so for anyone who, like us, hadn't, hasn't heard of, <clears throat> so for anyone who, like us, hasn't heard about the trans, nope. Prop for our, for our, <laughs> no? For what? For our <laughs> thumbnail. No, you just throw that thing away, babe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>